Some say only the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur, can claim a more significant achievement in the history of flight. Nearly 60 years ago, American test pilot Chuck Yeager flew faster than sound. At the time, Britain and Germany also were trying to develop a plane that could break the sound barrier, but the United States soon won out with its X-1. It was more rocket than plane, developed specifically to fly through the shock waves of the sound barrier with Jaeger as pilot. About half of the engineers, aeronautical engineers, at that time in 1947 gave us no chance at all of ever successfully flying beyond the speed of sound. They said it's a so-called barrier and the airplane would, you know, go out of control or disintegrate. And, uh, but I didn't look at it that way. Jaeger said he had confidence in the craft. He named it Glamorous Glennis for his wife and described its bullet-shaped body as cozy. Your knees were just about e equal with your shoulders, so you could pull a lot of G's without blacking out. It didn't have a prop on it. It didn't have a jet engine. It was just strictly a rocket, and it was real slick to fly. To save fuel, the X-1 was lifted by a modified B-29 bomber, then dropped and powered by four liquid oxygen rockets. As Jaeger's X-1 approached aviation history and Mach 1, the plane began buffeting violently. Continuing to accelerate, it smoothed out and, for the first time, a sonic boom filled the atmosphere. The success was quickly followed by an entire series of aircraft flying faster and higher than ever before. There were disasters and near disasters. The X-15 eventually flew to the edge of space at four, five, and six times the speed of sound. Jaeger went on to direct the space school at Edwards Air Force Base. And ten years ago, the man who first broke the sound barrier did it once again for his last time. Paul Sisko, VOA News.